Welcome back, welcome back, any and all. Glad you all could come back to hear the scripture reading. Today we're on Psalm 104. The Lord takes care of his creation. But before we do that, I hope when you woke up this morning, you told Father God, thank you. It is he that woke us up. We didn't wake ourselves up. And I hope you told your family members and loved ones that you love them. And I hope you're behaving yourself and listening to your family, listening to your parents and being good little boys and girls. I hope they're doing that. I hope everybody is saved, that they give their life to Christ, and everybody's praying and giving the Father thanks. Reading your Bible, we need to do that. Hallelujah. With that being said, before we go into our reading, we're going to do a prayer for children of all ages. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Father God, we come to you today to say, thank you, my Father. Thank you, Father God. For you being our Heavenly Father. Father, we love you. And Father God, we know that you are the reason why we are alive. You take care of us. You provide for us. You put food on our table and clothes on our back. You give our parents jobs to take care of us. And also, Lord God, you give us shelter over our head. And Lord God, you bless us to help bless others. And Lord God, you treat us. You tell us to treat others the way that we want to be treated. And that's with love and respect. And more than anything, we must love you, Lord, always. And Father God, we thank you. And may we be obedient to our parents. Yes, Lord. Father God, we thank you and we love you. And it's in Jesus' mighty name that we pray. Amen. Amen indeed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well said. That being said, we're on Psalm 104. The Lord takes care of his creation. I praise you, Lord God, with all my heart. You are glorious and majestic, dressed in royal robes and surrounded by light. You spread out the sky like a tent and you build your home over the mighty ocean. The clouds are your chariot with the wind as its wings. The winds are your messengers and flames of fire are your servants. You build foundations for the earth and it will never be shaken. You covered the earth with the ocean that rose above the mountains. Then your voice thundered, and the water flowed down the mountains and through the valleys to the place you prepared. Now you have set boundaries so that the water will never flood the earth again. You provide streams of water in the hills and valleys so that the donkeys and other wild animals can satisfy their thirst. Birds build their nests nearby and sing in the trees. From your home above, you send rain on the hills and water the earth. You let the earth produce grass for cattle, plants for our food, wine to cheer us up, olive oil for our skin, and grain for our health. Our Lord, your trees always have water, and so do the cedars you planted in Lebanon. Birds nest in those trees, and storks make their home in the fir trees. Wild goats find a home in the tall mountains, and small animals can hide between the rocks. You created the moon to tell us the seasons. The, no the sun knows when to set. And you made the darkness so the animals in the forest could come out at night. Lions roar as they hunt for the food you provide. But when morning comes, they return to their dens. Then we go out to work until the end of day. Our Lord, by your wisdom, you made so many things. The whole earth is covered with your living creatures. But what about the ocean so big and wide? It is alive with creatures large and small. And there are the ships as well as Leviathan, the monster you created to splash in the sea. All of these depend on you to provide them with food. And you feed each one with your own hand until they are full. But when you turn away, they are terrified. When you end their life, they die and rot. You created all of them by your spirit, and you give new life to the earth. Our Lord, we pray that your glory will last forever, and that you will be pleased with what you have done. You look at the earth, and it trembles. You touch the mountains, and smoke goes up. As long as I live, I will sing and praise you, the Lord God. I hope my thoughts will please you, because you are the one who makes me glad. Destroy all wicked sinners from the earth once and for all. 
With all my heart, I praise you, Lord. I praise you. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Yes, Lord. God's willing tomorrow, we'll be on Psalm 105. The Lord can be trusted. Yes, he can. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. You all tell your loved ones that you love them. We're not promised tomorrow, not even the rest of the day. Tell them all about Father God who gave his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, who died on the cross for all our sins. And treat others the way you want to be treated, with love and respect. The Lord thy God says, love the Lord thy God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength. And love your neighbor as yourself. That you must do. Right? You kids, be good little boys and girls and honor your father and your mother. So things go well with you on this earth. I love. Husbands and, fat and wives, husbands stand up and be the head of that home. And head that family in the path of righteousness. And wives, be submissive unto your own husband. And uh, in honor of the Lord. And take care of your home. And don't be a busybody. In other people's matters. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In all of you, I hope you are saved and giving your life to Christ. Because Jesus is coming back. And we want to be ready. We want to be ready. Hallelujah. Make sure you read your Bibles every day and tell Father God thank you. Pray over your food. Pray over any and all things and tell them thank you. Okay? And that applies also to your parents. When they feed you, tell them thank you. May do things for you. Tell them thank you. Okay? I love you all with the love of the Lord and Father God loves you more. You all have yourself a beautiful, blessed day. Children of all ages, youngest to oldest alike, God bless you. Bye-bye.